queen said to open doors to pub as monarch scouts for landlords in rare opportunity. The queen is reportedly on the hunt for a landlord to take on a new pub opening up on her Sandringham estate. According to the reports, the royal estate has decided to turn a former social club in the Norfolk village of West Newton, population 750, into a proper pub. The pub in question is an Edwardian former social club originally built in the 1800s as part of the Norfolk estate. Following its closure during the Covid pandemic, estate agent landlords are now listing the property with a new lease. They say tenants should have a strong resume and set out how they would boost community engagement. According to the estate agent, the listing is, a rare opportunity for the right operator to develop a new destination public house with restaurant and letting room potential, in an Edwardian former club premises full of character and occupying an elevated position with westerly aspects. Available to let on a new lease, terms by negotiation applicants will need to provide a resume of industry experience, financial references, business plan and a plan for community engagement and consultation. Located on Her Majesty's 600-acre estate, the novel proposal will no doubt spark excitement among the royal family. Indeed, as the royals join the Queen in Norfolk to celebrate Christmas, the new pub will no doubt serve as the ultimate royal watering hole. And with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge owning their very own property on Her Majesty's impressive Sandringham estate, who knows how many royal regulars there will be. Sandringham House was bought by Queen Victoria in 1862 for the Prince of Wales, who found the property too small and had a larger building commissioned. The Grade II listed building is Jacobethan in style, and has a ballroom, saloon and spacious dining room where the royals can enjoy their Christmas lunch. Prince Charles took over management of the Sandringham estate in 2017 and has implemented sustainable processes into its farm and gardens in a bid to turn the estate fully organic in the coming years. In 1975, the Duke of Edinburgh supervised the demolition and modernization of much of the service wing of the house which were a maze of Victorian small rooms and largely unused staff accommodation. Over 100 rooms were demolished to remove dry rot save on heating costs and move the kitchens closer to the dining room. The gardens at Sandringham were first opened to the public by King Edward VII in 1908. Her Majesty the Queen opened the house itself to the public in her Silver Jubilee year, 1977.
Edinburgh supervised the demolition and modernization of much of the service wing of the house which were a maze of Victorian small rooms and largely unused staff accommodation. Over 100 rooms were demolished to remove dry rot, save on heating costs and move the kitchens closer to the dining room. The gardens at Sandringham were first opened to the public by King Edward VII in 1908. Her Majesty the Queen opened the house itself to the public in her Silver Jubilee year, 1977. 